I am hoping that these will work. So I have this mad idea, a theory really. So far, this is working out beautifully. Theoretical people, it's all theoretical. Hello friends, this is Julie. Welcome back to a new video. Have I got a treat for you. All of the Alice in Wonderland projects themed for parties, not just Halloween, but I'm using them for Halloween, that you could ever wish for, maybe not, but maybe and hopefully you've not seen them done before. I would be curious to hear in the comments what project was your favorite. So make sure to watch all the way through for the full reveal of all of the projects and yeah. Let's have some fun. So I have this mad idea, a theory really. I woke up with this idea. I kind of had it like, I don't know, one of those dream like awake, like dreams early in the morning. And I woke up and I was like, that would be really cool. So I had this idea. I have seen some really creative people that will sew on paper. And I had this idea to get some cheap card packs. So these were from Walmart, they were 97 cents. And I got this specifically because of the red and black and gold. And since that's my color theme, I thought that I would go with that. And then I also got this really pretty gold thread to sew the cards. I'm going to try to make, and I know this probably sounds weird, but I'm going to try to make a some type of something for my door. And then I also got some black satin ribbon because I want to, well, it's kind of hard to explain. So let's just see if I can actually do this and then I'll show it to you afterwards and, and explain what I'm doing here. And I got this really pretty gold ribbon as well. All of this was from Walmart. So I've got my bobbin and I'm just gonna fill it with this gold thread real quick. Okay, I quickly had to measure the space that I wanted these to hang to see how many cards I need. The cards are three and a half inches long. The opening of my door is 68 inches. So I need roughly 20 cards per string. So that's what I'm doing. And I am alternating red and black colors. I don't care about the suit. It's just gonna be random. All right, let's continue. Now I'm going to test the length really quickly, but so far, this is working out beautifully. I'm really excited to see how it all turns out. This is perfect. Okay, I took a moment to open up the rest of my decks of cards and then separate them and mix them up. I didn't want all of the suits in order. I wanted it to be more of a random appearance. So I got a pile that are gonna start with reds and I've got a pile that are gonna start with blacks, but I made sure to put 20 in each pile and then I have 16 leftover cards that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with. So we'll figure that out. <laughs> but for now, let's just get back doing what we were doing here. by the light of the moon. Sorry about the lighting. I don't feel like pulling one of my lights out. However, I am having a change of heart as to where I'm going to put this now. Originally, the idea came from the picture of Alice in Wonderland where the cards are flying up and over her and kind of attacking her when she has had her court appearance with the Queen of Hearts and the King of Hearts. And so that was the idea to try to make them look like they were flying up and over. So what I think I'm actually going to do is still do the original idea where I'm connecting it to this beautiful black satin but I think that I'm going to hang it somewhere other than where <laughs> I was intending to which is the doors but I'm gonna put it together and then we will see I may have enough still on here so basically doing is enveloping the cards between this black ribbon so I start out with a seam on the top and then I flip the ribbon over and sew again man I just ran out of gold thread. Just. That is insane. Insane! Ideally, I'm supposed to do this exact same thing on the bottom. This is a mess. It's a beautiful mess, but it's a mess. It's 
pretty awesome though, if I do say so myself. All right, I'll be right back. To make my life easier, and yes, I did wait until daylight, I went ahead and gathered up the cards and then I used these little bowl clips <laughs> to keep them intact. So that I don't have like a mile of cards trailing down here makes it very difficult <laughs> to get it through the sewing machine. So now I just need another piece of string. What I want to do is sew some gold at the end so that I can tie these strings around some hooks in the walls. Theoretical people, it's all theoretical. I'm just trying to make what I see in my head come to life. Sometimes it's not possible, but I've been getting more and more lucky these days. I think I'm gonna do about this long. Now the proof will be when I hang this thing up, if it looks reasonable or if I am insane. <laughs> Let's check it out. I just happen to have four of these brass hooks. I am hoping that these will work. So we shall see. I think I need to measure out equal distances from either side of my fire backer here because I want to I want to hang it fairly close to the ceiling there. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna measure even spaces and mark it with a pencil, and then we shall see about hanging it. Fingers crossed. So far so good. Let's take it apart and see what it looks like. it needs to go higher so I'm gonna go all the way to the ceiling I guess looks pretty spectacular if I do say so myself it would look really good in a lot of different places but I really love it right there and if you wanted the cards to go to remain one direction the entire time which I'm thinking you know would have been cool you could do two lines like on either side of the card so keep that in mind if that's something that matters to you if you want it to be all the same like all the faces of the cards but i kind of like how it is they do kind of look like they're flying which is the look that i was going for so it totally works all right on to the next project because i have quite a few I am going to make an Alice in Wonderland sign. In order to do that, I am going to reuse this sign that I already have. This has survived since last year outside, fairly unscathed, pretty good. But I'm gonna sand it down and I'm gonna reuse it to make an Alice in Wonderland sign with my beautiful wood holder over here. And yeah, so I'm excited to do that. I'm sure some people are gonna come for me because these signs are so pretty, but guys, I can always make them again, so. It's not the end of the world. I want to reuse what I have and just be smart about it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Most of these projects start out with the tedious task of cutting every single one of them out with my X-Acto knife. And this was no exception. I honestly had no idea what I was gonna do with this sign, so I was figuring it out as I went, with a little bit of input from my teenage son.
Oh, I got these at Hobby Lobby. Wood pile. They are $6.49 originally, but you can get them for 40% off when they're on sale. And that is when I got them. So I got some of these wood blocks. I got some of these foam mushrooms. These were in the seasonal stuff, so they were half price. And then these are from our Dollar Tree. I have a hot glue gun, some glue sticks, and I have a cloche with some moss. And I just, I already had that, so. <laughs> so what we're going to do, I want one that can fit inside the cloche, be fairly close. So I'm just gonna use my X-Acto knife to give them a flat edge. I had to hold this little sprig of cedar from my backyard for quite a long time while the glue dried entirely before it would stay up. This is a really fun and simple craft. Simply go to my subscribers library, download these free cards, print them out on cardstock, cut them out, make a few holes in them, and string them up however you like. To be honest, I think tying this bow was the most difficult part of this entire process. possibly be more Alice in Wonderland than a beautiful teapot. I'm gonna use one of my ironstone teapots that I have and I bought these roses, these white roses from Hobby Lobby. They are originally $11.99 but they were on 40% off so they were five something. But I thought that they were the most lifelike looking and I wanted white roses because we're going to be painting the roses red. Again, this is all theoretical. Using a red sealing gun wax. So you can use it to make old fashioned letters and seal them, or you can use it for other applications like this. So this comes in one piece and I'm just going to snip it into pieces because I may need, I may need wire cutters. I'm, I need wire, cu wire cutters. <laughs> All right, again, very theoretical. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm kind of scared, actually, <laughs> to mess it up. I think it's 
um, better if you have a low heat gun. Mine is high heat, and so we shall see. It's awful runny, but I'm trying to blow on it as I go, and I don't know. We shall see. I think that looks pretty good. The bonus is that it's Halloween and this kind of looks like blood. I'm loving, I'm loving it. I think it really does look like they were painting the roses red. And the bonus is, is that there's quite a few roses in that. So I could do this on somewhere else. And then I can also do some on the table, which is gonna look really cute. So I had this uh, crazy idea and thought to myself, people paint windows all the time. Professionally, businesses have them painted for holidays and seasons and stuff like that. So why couldn't I do it myself? So <laughs> this again is another mad scientist idea. I went ahead and used a Sharpie and a stencil. You probably can't see it, but I've got a little rabbit here outlined, the little white rabbit. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. And so I thought to myself, how cool would that be if I were to paint some stencils on the windows and I don't know, I just wanted to try it and see. So I've, I'm just using some chalk paint and I used some homemade stencils and let's just, I don't know, let's see how it goes. I don't even know, I'm pretty sure, like I'm assuming that I can get it all off with just a regular like razor blade, like I would with any paint at the end of it. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. But on the other hand, all of my windows need to replace anyway, so <laughs> I guess I won't be that upset if it doesn't come off in entirety. All right, I'm just gonna start painting and we'll see where we go.
Thank you so much guys for sticking around for the entire process of my theoretical projects turning into life. They were really fun to do. I had a lot of fun coming up with all of these and actually I have several more and I'm gonna be making another video with the remainder of the projects that I have. The small little ones and then a couple of really cool ones that I'm excited to finish. I just couldn't fit them all into one video or one week's worth of work. These were a lot of work even though I speed them up for you <laughs> these took days for me to finish and so it was several weeks worth of work to get to this point and I am really happy with how it's turning out this room is just turning into a, a lovely little Alice in Wonderland themed Halloween ish type vibe and I love it. So let's talk a little bit about the projects that I did in this video. Very happy with what I did. Probably the most spectacular project that I did overall has to be the flying card streamer. I don't even know what to call it. It's not a banner. It's um, maybe it's streamers because they are hanging up and they kind of move around. I don't know. I don't know what to call it exactly. Maybe you could tell me what your thoughts are that uh, of that in the comments. I'm dreading having to take it down, but I hope to be able to use it in future things. I, I don't know what. <laughs> Obviously it would have to be Alice in Wonderland themed or poker themed or game night of some sort. I'm really glad that it came to fruition that it actually worked. The Another one that I really loved obviously was the we're all mad here because I mean, it just fits my household to a T. I don't know about yours. Uh, I think that it was kind of spooky, but not like overwhelmingly spooky, but I really enjoyed the process of that. It was different to say the least. Another really favorite project that I did was the little wonderland scenes in the glass cloche, cloches. And I, loved that so much. I cannot wait to do more for other seasons or characters or things like that. They're just so fun and they were so easy. And if you want to make your own, I do have a blog post with a lot of these projects, honestly, but that one particularly where you can download the miniature little scenes. So that process was so quick once I figured out what I was going to do. Honestly, I was just going to do mushrooms to start. I didn't even think about the Alice in Wonderland parts until later and then I added them in. So they weren't a part of the initial plan. So I really love that I added them in because I think that it added so much to it. Another really fun project that I'm really glad turned out was painting the roses red. I just think that they look awesome, especially in this really pretty um, picture. But yeah, I think that they turned out spectacular. Perfect project. I just, yeah. I just really love it. Um, as you can see, I added in a little Mad Hatter's hat. And this was in a previous video when I was taking apart my kitchen situation and I said, I didn't know what to do with this thing. I thought at first that it was a candlestick holder. And let me just show you for a second. Like it's awkwardly tall. And I was like, what in the world? As I wanted to, I thought about adding in a Mad Hatter's hat. I was like, I really need a hat stand. And I was looking around in Hobby Lobby and the thought just occurred to me, this thing would be a perfect hat stand. And actually, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was intentionally made as a hat stand at some point or a wig stand or something like that. So it works perfectly and it adds so much character and charm to this little table here, which is actually from my Berkey, but I moved my Berkey just so I could have a little table, just like Alice in Wonderland. So I've got little skeleton keys on the table and then I have my little Alice in Wonderland invitation, party invitation. And this, as well as several other themed party invitations are available as free printables in my subscribers library. So just head to capturingwonderland.com, go into my subscribers library, subscribe, and you get free access to all of my printables. So these are like poetry invitations that I made myself, all of the poems that I added at the end and on these cards are original, um, with all with themes. My favorite one is the Alice in Wonderland, but I also love the Edgar Allan Poe of the, the poem Nevermore, which is another one that is in there. But it says, follow the Cheshire Cat's toothy grin, a mad tea party can't wait to begin, playing cards and potions in store, an Alice themed Halloween you'll adore. So it's just really cute and simple 
and you can actually mail it. It's got RSVP on the bottom. So it prints out on a single sheet and you simply cut and fold. So that's really fun. I added that in over here. Let's see, another project that I did. I'm like, forget, oh, painting the windows. Oh my Lord, guys. I hope that I can find better paint next time. I actually have watched several videos <laughs> on window painting and they use latex paint. So I may try to do that, just buy several samples for holidays coming up because now that I know that I can actually do it, um, I'm probably going to do it for all the seasons. And so, yeah, and just try to get better at it and more proficient because obviously my mine are kind of janky. It was really hard to kind of show them to you because of the bright light coming through the window but I had to do several coats, several, and the chalk paint like tore, even if it was sort of dry. So I had to be careful that it was like 100% dry before I came in with another coat. And yeah, I had to do like two or three coats of the black before I could come in with the color. But I'm glad that I came in with the color because initially I was just thinking I would do like silhouettes. So they would just be black. But I think that the color kind of adds something and I wanted to, to really like test it out and see what I could do with the window as an example to you and also to myself of what's available. These were just simple acrylic paints from Hobby Lobby for like a dollar or something. And I would have to say that in all of the projects that I did involving these paints, I do not think they have the best coverage. So I will be looking for different paints in the future because I really don't like having to go over and over and over things multiple times with multiple coats to be able to get the actual color to show through. So that being said, the last project and probably the easiest one by far was this playing card garland that I made and that is also available in my printables library and it, it was really fun. Every printable that I give to you is something that I would personally use in my home and do use in my home and also something that is completely original. So I had a lot of fun making those and they're available with the um, original illustrations by Sir John Tenniel and also the lovely illustrations by Arthur Rackham that are some of my absolute favorite. And so I love using them for many, many projects. And I'm sure that these are not the last ones that you will see from me. Yeah, so those are all the projects. I showed you that I put my little watercolored pictures in those vintage frames. I absolutely love it. Obviously I had to cut them up, but that's okay. Those watercolor prints are available as well in my printer's library. And I just quickly watercolored them and then let them dry and then put them in those frames. And I think they are beautiful. I love them. I think they added so much charm and color to that area and just kind of pulled it all together. I will be doing more in my floating frames, but that will come with the full dining room reveal, which I actually had planned to do today, but I'm just not done. I'm not ready. So you're going to have to wait for that. <laughs> it's going to be closer to the end of September probably because I have other things to share with you. So 